Hello there, Internet. My name is Michaela, and this is my adorable hamster, Benny. The whole time I've had Benny, I have been collecting adorable clips of him in our life together. I thought that I might show the world, you know, where I got him and where we are now. Benny is a long-haired Syrian hamster. He was born on December 8th, 2021, and he has a rust-dominant spot coat. When I was preparing to get Benny, I wanted to make sure that I did everything the right way. So that's why I got him from an ethical breeder, and I took the time to really set up a nice enclosure for him. My first pet hamster was a pet dwarf hamster hybrid named Hampton. I loved him dearly, but I didn't know hardly anything about proper care. The crazy part of that was that I had done some research, but it turned out to be from all the wrong sources. During that time that I had Hampton, I went down a rabbit hole of ethical care, and though he had spent most of his life in a 20 gallon tank, I was able to upgrade him to this 40 gallon breeder tank that you see here. When Hampton passed on, I promised that I would adopt ethically from then on. I did some research and I found a hamstery that I would be proud to get a ham from. So I got on the waiting list and I began my journey with preparing for a Syrian. If you own a hamster or have in the past, you know that Syrians are much larger than dwarfs, let alone an ethically bred Syrian. <laughs> I had no idea just how big he would be, but I did make sure to get him the 12 inch night angel wheel and I made sure that he had hiding places that were big enough for him. I also had to be prepared that even though this tank was perfect for my dwarf, if my new Syrian showed distress signs, I knew I'd have to get him something bigger. So this was the final product of my setup for the hamster we would fall in love with and name Benny. I remember feeling really proud of this setup at the time. Since the enclosure was set up, it was time to begin our road trip. We drove a total of, I think, 23 hours there and back. But once we got him, we knew it was well worth it. I couldn't stop looking at him. I mean, we were still in the car, but like, look at the little face. He was so tiny and fluffy and soft. When we got him home, we let him settle into his new enclosure. We knew we were going to need extra patience with him as he had cage anxiety. We were told of this and the breeder wanted to make sure that we were a good match with him, keeping this in mind. To combat his cage anxiety, we were very adamant about giving him a few days to be left alone and get used to his surroundings, but then after that we held him every single day. He would protest sometimes, but we persisted because it was the only way to help him get over it. Once he's out, he's always just fine. We did some bathtub bonding and we made sure to have lengthier handling sessions so that he would learn to feel more at ease with our sense and our presence. We've come a long way and though Benny can sometimes be a grumpy pants, he's definitely getting used to us and he enjoys us now. Being a hamster mom is one of the best things I've ever done and I love everything that it has brought into my life. I even got to receive, open, and review this hamster and meat box, which was amazing. I've gotten to watch ethical hamsteries and their journeys online. I have learned so much about hamsters and the care that they need, and I've gotten to spread that information to those around me. I'm hoping that the making of this video is a start of a journey to help other people just like me find their love for hamsters, and I hope that I can help someone kickstart a journey to provide proper care for the hamster in their life. But anyways, back to Mr. Mans himself. These days, Benny would never admit it, but he loves his mom and dad, and he loves getting to hang out with us on the couch. I mean, we always have snuggles, a hide, and some snacks that are ready. So really, how could he not love us? Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you enjoyed our journey from then to now. I've been wanting to start this channel for a while, so if you'd like to join me on my journeys with Benny, feel free to hit the subscribe button and tag along. 